Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in AutoCAD for beginners. I am architect Sonu Rai from Gladys Studio and in this video, video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to draw a 2D door in a 2D floor plan so that you can start practicing of drawing doors and in the next video tutorial, I will teach you how to draw windows. So you can see this is a, a small residential unit and you can see there are some bedrooms and bath area with kitchen and entrance gate and a staircase so you can see there are some openings so bedroom in the standard size of door is three feet and for bath area is two feet six inches and for kitchen is also two feet six inches and if you are working in metric unit you can take 900 to 1000 mm for your bedrooms and for bathrooms you can say take 750 and for kitchen also you can take 750 mm so this is the minimum standard so we are required to draw doors so for drawing doors you are required to first set the door frame so i am going to take a line command here i will enter l enter and then i will click anywhere here and i will first enter 1.5 inches here and see this is 1.5 inches and now I will go right here and I will enter again 1.5 then again I will come down and I will enter 1.5 so and in the right side also I will enter the same value 1.5 and then again I will enter 1.5 and then I will extend this line here and after this you can use fillet command here F enter and you can click on this line and then onto this line so this is our door frame and you can uh, take a line from here this end till this end and you can take this as a bedroom door width that is three feet so i'm going to enter three feet in here and you can see this is our end so i am going to copy this and you can use mirror command mi enter and you can search for mid center and you can mirror this and I will repeat once I will select this and I enter then I will look for mid center here and I will click once here and after this you can see mirror erase source object yes or no so I want to retain this so I will click no so if you select yes it will be erased so now this is our road frame is ready we will check the dimension here dli enter from this end to this end you can see this is three feet so now i am going to delete this line and i will uh, draw a line here and i will take three feet here from this end and then i will offset 1.5 inch and also use multi line that I am providing and now I will close this line here and this is the door in plan view and this is door frame so now we are required to draw a radius so I am going to use arc here and I will select this end and this end and we can draw an arc here and then I will delete this here enter and you can delete this so this is available in higher version of AutoCAD we are required to click trim only once but in uh, lower version of AutoCAD you are required to click two times to trim this so now this is a door in a plan view so this is the simple method and after this you can change the layer of the door i want to uh, apply door layer here so i will go in the layer list and i will select this a door and in the right side you can select by layer so you can see this is the door layer so you should always work in layers so after this you can see all the lines are different here So now we are required to select all the door and we will create a block so I will enter B enter for block and you can 
define this block so I am going to name this as door 1 and I will click OK and you can see now it is a block so now we are ready to apply here so I am taking this M with the move command I will move this and then I will bring this door this side and you can see this is at column so you can see this is the fit door so we can shift this wall here we can and you can select move here and you can select this line and enter m enter and you can move this wall further and then you can trim this tr enter so you are for timing you are required to just practice how to draw a 2d door you are not required to worry about the how to draw 2d floor plan because i will make a detailed tutorial so you can see this is repeat door you can remove this line also here this yellow line is overlapping so i can reduce this you can see this is a door for a bedroom so this is a proper way of drawing doors and you can place copy this and you can apply in the second bedroom here and then i will use rotate command ro enter and then i will rotate this to 90 degree and then i will again select this door and press move and then i will bring to, nearer to this wall here and you can see this is placed here this is also three feet and likewise you can repeat for kitchen also so kitchen is two feet six inches so what you can do you can copy this door here this door opening is 3 feet but our kitchen opening is 2 feet 6 inches so we can scale this so I am going to select this door and rotate here and then I will move here to this end and now you can see this is a 2 feet 6 inches only this opening and our door is 3 feet so you can scale this so I am going to select and press scale command SC enter you can see this is a scale and now you can select this end and you can press R enter you can see the specify a scale factor copy or reference so I am going to end R enter and then again select this end then take this end and reduce the scale size of the door now if this is a 2 feet 6 inch door and after this you can start placing uh, nearer to other area like toilet areas and bath area that is also 2 feet 6 inches. the same you can apply here in bedroom also and for making entrance gate you are required to draw a double door so you can start drawing the same procedure you can take 1.5 inch then you can take 1.5 inch then again you can take 1.5 inch one point five inch then again you can take one point five inch and then again one point five inch and extend this line and fillet this and now I am going to take the opening as 8 feet for this entrance gate so I will draw a line 8 feet here and we will select this and mirror this so now we are required to draw a door 2d door like this one so this is 8 feet so I am going to take 4 feet from this end and 4 feet from this end to make it double door so now I am going to draw a line here and you can define this as 4 feet and then again offset this 1.5 and draw a line to close this again you can select all this door and you can mirror this to other end and select the mid center of this and draw a door from 
next opposite side here select the mid center click once and it will ask mirror erase source no select no and your source is retained so now we'll click on the mid of this and we'll draw a arc so i'm going to select arc and i will take this end and mid center of this end and it will draw an arc so i'm going to clean this here enter erase this arc and mirror this also and my enter so you can see this is a double door <coughs> we'll copy this and i will paste the line and now i will select all of this and i will create a block e enter and it will be Name this as double door. So after this, you can move this to this entrance gate, and you can see this is seven feet. So we have created eight feet. So I am going to scale this to seven feet. So I am going to select this SC enter scale, select this end. And then you can enter R and select again this end and select the end and you can reduce to 7 feet. So now this is a 7 feet door. We can move inside. So this is a 7 feet door. So this is the method of how we can draw doors in AutoCAD 2D. So next you can also press Ctrl and 3 on your keyboard and you can go to your tool palettes here and you can also find the tool palettes here in view and you can see this is the tool palettes in two tool palettes you are required to go to architectural here and you can select select door imperial and door matrix so if you are working in imperial you will select door imperial and if you are working in matrix you will select door matrix so i'm going to select door imperial and now you can see this is the door in plan view so you can directly get this door and i will show you uh, the difference this is was the door which we draw and now this is the direct applied from this imperial sample so you can apply from this also and if you select this door again you can see there is a arrow here and there is an arrow and there is an arrow symbol so if i am selecting this arrow here it's See that it is converted to red that means if you want to open it 30 degree it will be like this and if you want to open it 45 degree it will be different so i am going to select 90 degree and you can see this 90 degree door is almost similar and there is no door frame but it, it will draw like this also so this is the method and you can also select again and you can change to any other angle that you can to open it at 60 degree you can select 60 degree and 45 degree and again you can make it to uh, 90 degree and you can also convert it to double door by mi enter and you can make it a double door on this can repeat this mi enter and you can press no and enter so this is a double door likewise you can uh, get windows also but we'll learn how to draw such basic doors and there is another way you can directly get or get blocks from your google and you can download the block door so you can get a lot of uh, they are free and you can see download it and directly apply in your AutoCAD floor plan so this is the method of drawing door so you are required to practice this door so this was the tutorial for today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in AutoCAD so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel